and gentlemen, live from the famous Acme Comedy Theater in Hollywood, it's Acme Saturday Night. Starring Diana Costa, Chris Cranwell, Mark Danen. Kirk Dietrich, Leif Gantfort, Kimberly Huff, Sean McGinty, Jen Parker, and Jake West. Musical guest, David and Devine. And our host tonight, Tristana Logan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tristana Logan. Um, as uh, most of you know me from more action-oriented type projects, where they do lots of big stunts and action sequences big and fight. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, anyway, um, I'm probably one of the only actresses that you'll ever meet who can say that they've gotten to beat up our governor. <laughs> Pretty impressive. It's been real tough to beat up a 63-year-old man. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, and you are? Just an elderly American. You just keep going on with your story unless you want to hit me too. Why would I want to hit you? Oh, I don't know. Weren't you in a movie called Blood Rain? Yeah, I had to train like 12 hours a day for that film. Oh yeah? Who was the uh, young fella you had to fight in that one? Uh, Sir Ben Kingsley? No! <laughs> Little Ben Kingsley, little 67-year-old Ben Kingsley. Well, I mean, he was in great shape. I mean, our fight sequences were epic. Yeah, it must have been pretty tough beating up Gandhi. <laughs> He's a beater. Look, those are just two examples, okay? I do fight sequences with actors from all ages. Yeah, as long as they're over 60. Congratulations, Ron Perlman, from In the Name of the King, Colin, A Dungeon Siege Tale. He's an early bird special and a butt kicking. It's all just pretend. I'm sure in real life, Ron Perlman could kick my butt. No, oh, who are you going to fight in your next movie? Wilford Brimley? <laughs> I tried, but she keeps ducking me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you scared of, little lady? You scared of the Brim Reaper? No, I have nothing against old guys, really, I don't. I mean, you should feel honored that men your age can still do fight scenes. Well, I'll give you a fight scene. It's go time, lady. Yeah, let's go, sister. We're gonna yeah. give you a butt kicking you'll, you'll forget until we're long gone, which will be next year. Uh, uh, hey guys, did you know they're giving out free copies of Reader's Digest backstage? Oh, I love humor and uniform. Laughter well, is the best medicine. God. Oh, oh, oh! I think I broke my hip! Damn you, Logan, you win this round! Anyway, we're gonna have a great show, so.
Acme Comedy presents Rules of the Theater with Lola LaRue. <laughs> Hello, my babies. It's Lola LaRue. I'm here to go over the rules of the Acme Comedy Theater. Rule number one, no smoking. Unless you're smoking hot and you want to meet me back here in the green room. We'll make out. Rule number two, no flashing of cameras. Unless you're smoking hot and you want to come back here and flash me, I'll take your picture. <laughs> then we'll make out. Rule number three, no profanity. Unless you're smoking hot and you want to come back here and flash me, you son of a bitch. <gasps> we'll make out if you're not an asshole. I'll meet you over by the stage door. Thanks, Lola. people who are cheating on their significant others, you should watch it. You'd actually like it. Cheating on their significant others? Yes, as in me, her husband. <laughs> Not for long. Welcome to Cheaters. <laughs> husband? You're married? I thought you were gay! I am! I knew it! I knew it. I knew you were gay. Well, I, I'm, I'm not that gay. Well, what, the hell, what the hell does that mean? Well, it means you couldn't have known it. Oh, he did know. He just didn't want to believe it. Welcome to Cheaters. Wait, would you, would you quit, quit saying that? Get that camera out of here. I can't believe you did this to me. Uh, what, Lorena, is he really your husband? Y yes, but, uh, but I'm leaving him. What? <laughs> You're leaving me for a girl? What? You can't love her. You certainly looked like you could in this video. What? See, that's you right there, right? Oh. And that's you coming in right there. And, Look, I can't tell what you're really trying to do, but I can tell it's really hot. Dude, welcome to Cheaters! Dude, whose side are you on, man? I'm on the side of justice. And ratings. But mostly, Cheaters. Um, uh, look, I, I, I really was into you, Benson, and then I met Jane, and everything changed. Yeah, she really got deep into you, according to that video. Cheaters! <laughs> well, I, I wish you wouldn't have lied to me. I mean, well, at least now I know the truth. Thanks, the cheaters. You're welcome! Uh, ben Benson, Benson, wait! Wait, wait, what? Well, um, maybe, maybe I'm just confused. I, I still do love you. Benson, don't go. What, what now you're dumping me? Oh. Yes. What? No! I don't know! <laughs> Keep the camera going, okay? So you still love me? What the hell is happening here? Look, maybe this is way out of line, but there are things that I love about both of you. Benson, I love the way I feel protected in your arms. And Jane, I love the spiritual connection that we share. And you both love me, so maybe there's a way we can just make this work for all three of us. Huh? What do you say? No. 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 Oh, this is the curse of being bisexual. I, I could never make up my mind. Or stop cheating. Welcome to Cheaters. Oh! Oh, mother of God! Stabbed again. Did you get this? This is amazing TV. Oh, welcome to...
Take it from me, Wolfram Brimley. Quaker instant oatmeal. It's a tasty thing to do, and it's good for you. That's great, Mr. Brimley. This goddamn diabetes, I gotta piss like a racehorse. Oh, let's get a move on, Chad. The next one is... Yeah, I got it. Uh, let's give it a whirl. All right, rolling. I'm off from Brimley, and I have diabetes. What makes me more sick is foreign interests coming over and stealing good jobs from hardworking Americans. Well, the American Nazi Party has a final solution to this problem. To learn more, log on to www.americannaziparty.com. White power is good for you, it's good for the race. Chad, what the good goddamn is this? It was in a package that came from the agency. The Nazis? If you didn't want to do it, why'd you finish it? Because I'm a professional? <laughs> Says here they're paying you triple your normal fee. All right, what's next? <laughs> we gotta go. I, my, I gotta piss so bad my back teeth are floating. <sighs> Nambla? Nambla. <laughs> what's that? You, you don't know what Nambla is? Don't sass me, fuckstick. <laughs> are we rolling? Still rolling. I move from Brimley. As a diabetic, there's nothing I enjoy more than the company of a young boy. <laughs> Whether it's pitching, catching, taking long walks on the beach, or initiating him into the rights of manhood the way only an older man can. <laughs> That's why I support the North American Man Boy Love Association. Nambla, it's good for the boy and fun for you. Well, fuck me, fatty. What the hell is this? I tried to tell you, Mr. Brimley. I thought they were like the scouts. How'd they get rooked into this? They're the ones that sent the box of steaks. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Last one. You're goddamn right it is. Still rolling. I'm over for Brimley, and I'm a diabetic. I'm also a godless heathen, a lapdog to the great Satan. Well, I'm here to tell you the Al-Qaeda network will rid the world of my western filth. Sleeper cells are forming now at a mosque near you. Al-Qaeda is good for Allah and death for America. Mother scratching son of a crack whore! What is this bullshit? I take it you're not okay with that? No, I am not. I believe it's pronounced Al-Qaeda. Let's do another take. <laughs> Child. And when you do, 
It's just best to let it go. Like this ring. So if you are one of our lucky, lucky viewers who could have graduated in 1973 from Ridgemont High, and maybe you have a son who you don't want to hear from, I guarantee you this ring will keep him away. <laughs> our phone lines are open. Okay. Any takers? No. No. Okay, well, you know, let's just move on. Uh, Dory, what do you have there in your little trinket box? I have a shitload of promise rings. <laughs> oh, sorry. My mouth. I have packaged these all together as item number 42879. These represent the painful memories of the 11 gentlemen I was promised to but did not marry. She came the closest with number seven. Oh, yeah. His name was Dwayne. I was at the altar, and that ring was almost on my finger when the police came and arrested him. He stole that ring and her heart. I could cry just thinking about it, but I won't because I'm on TV right now and have Botox. <laughs> you know, Doreen, these promise rings could be toe rings. And if you're one of our lucky viewers who maybe has an extra toe, you could wear all 11 at the same time. What a bling fashion statement that would make. Raise the roof for fashion. Oh. oh. Any takers? No. No. Okay. You know, uh, let's just move on. Speaking of wedding rings, I have many. And I have none. No. Painful memories all around. I am offering two times the discount on this because the husband that gave it to me was two-timing me. <laughs> now, there you go. So if you are one of our lucky viewers who maybe uh, lost her wedding ring, and your name is Noreen, and you're married to a man by the name of Brandon who, quote, uh, loves you like the morning dew loves the flowers, end quote. That's beautiful. Uh, you know, what a wonderful opportunity this is for you. Let's just hope that your Brandon isn't a liar. <laughs> I have no doubt, Noreen, that many of our viewers fall into that category. Our phone lines are open. A any takers? <laughs> you know, Doreen, our phone lines are not lighting up like they do on our jewelry show with no painful memories. Who knew, Noreen? You don't. You know, but hey, if you're religious... Or you just need to repent. Tune in next week. It's our Crucifix of the Month show. No painful memories there. Well, except for Jesus. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, we'll see you next week when we raise the roof for Jesus.
applause for the lovely, the beautiful, and the talented David and Divine. <laughs> Disgusted by his every word, even the prepositions, especially the prepositions. He farts when it's silent, whenever it's silent. His organ donation card also lists his penis and recommends you suck it. He is the most inappropriate man in the world. 
It's not always beer that's being thrown in my face, but when it is, I prefer Natty Light. It's tasty and goes down easy, like my dick. Nice day to be at the park, huh? Sure is. I'm Lorna. Kristen. So you think you're prettier than me? What? <laughs> no. I mean, you are, but you don't have to be such a bitch about it. <laughs> I didn't even say anything. Oh. Do you like crackers? Uh, yeah. Want to see an impression? Sure. All right, who's this? talking about Peter. Dude, what the fuck? I know, that was crazy, right? Anorexia. Why did you just pin that on me there? What? Why does anyone do anything, right? Circle of life. Hey, hey, John, what's going on? Oh, hey, how's it going? Good. Hey, did you try that uh, new Italian place? It's great. It really is. Ah, I can't. Too many carbs. I gotta lose some weight. Yeah. yeah some people were saying, uh, 
And you probably should, otherwise you might have a heart attack and die like a giant fool. Right? <laughs> no, no, God, no. Why would... What the hell, Peter? I don't know. I have a glandular condition. I know. What? Gee. Oh my God! I know, right? Shut <laughs> up! Stop saying that! Don't even look at me. Look, Heather, what is up, girl? So when is the baby? Oh, oh my God! Oh, because uh, Peter was saying. Because Larry, because Larry thinks you're pregnant, right? Uh, I am, but I haven't told anybody. How could you tell? You just had that glow. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Peter. Not cool, man. Dude, I don't know what you're trying to do to me, but it's not going to work. It already has. What? Peter, that presentation you gave was completely subpar. Your conclusion made no sense. Uh, Mr. Haskins, you know what? It's um, those last, those last couple of slides, actually, uh, when at very last moment, right? Uh, yeah, they were someone else's idea, right? 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 right. 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 You're both fired! You're both fired! No, just you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and this is the only place around. Can you please just make me a sandwich? I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired er. I'm tired er. <laughs> me too. Oh, me too. God. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I have really low blood sugar and I gotta go. So please, one of you make me a freaking sandwich. Okay? Uh, what do you want? Thank God. Okay, good. I will have a six inch um, turkey on a time. Cheese. American. American. So you have to cut the bread. You have to cut the bread now. <laughs> you do it. No, you do it. Oh, he's watching me. It's because it's a subway. I'm supposed to watch you. Please cut the bread. Oh, we will. When? <laughs> oh, in a minute. What kind of vegetables? All right, lettuce. Oh. And uh, black olives. Oh. Tomatoes. Oh. <laughs> Green peppers. Oh. Do you want the meal deal with that? Well, yeah, but I just want you to put it in a sandwich already. Just make it in the bread. Oh my god, you know what? Thank you for wasting my time!
From the Acme News World Headquarters in Hollywood, this is the Acme Saturday Night News with Dan Kane. Hi everybody, welcome to the Acme Saturday Night News. I'm Dan Kane. Our top story tonight. This week, as The Social Network, a movie about Facebook, opened in theaters, the Facebook service had a massive outage that lasted several hours. During the outage, Facebook's half a billion users were cut off from the site, and worker productivity rose so dramatically that the recession temporarily ended. <laughs> Desperate for better employment numbers, President Obama has issued an executive order requiring rolling Facebook outages every weekday until our economy recovers. Of course, the President's decision was announced via Twitter. <laughs> In a related story, Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg is donating $1 million to the Newark, New Jersey Public Schools, which is one of the worst performing school districts in the country. The money will be used to teach kids that, like Zuckerberg, if you work hard, you too could end up with an F. <laughs> of course, there's always the backup plan for those Jersey kids, reality TV. <laughs> Good luck. In Delaware, Tea Party member and Senate candidate Christine O'Donnell continues to surprise the public with her past and present statements about things like witchcraft and evolution. Joining us to explain her views is the candidate herself, Christine O'Donnell. Hello, Dan. Hi. What a pleasure to be here. How fun. <laughs> Hi, Christine. How are you? I'm really glad you could join us. Uh, now that you've won the Republican nomination for the Senate race in Delaware, what's your next strategy? Well, I won't have much time for national interviews. I plan to go to as many church picnics, though, as possible. Aha! Uh -huh. Any particular denomination of churches that you want to visit? Only Christian ones. And if they don't like me, I can always cast a spell on them. Cast a spell? That's right, because there's been some talk about you uh, dabbling in witchcraft in the past. Oh, that was just in high school. Who doesn't cast spells in high school or masturbate? Uh, well, I imagine lots of high schoolers don't cast spells, at least. Well, uh, Sarah Palin has her own witch doctor. Okay. You know, uh, speaking of Sarah Palin, you two seem pretty close. Oh, yes, Dan, we are. In fact, um, I thought I, Sarah's right here. I'll, I'll be right back. Hey, Sarah, come here. Dan wants to talk to you. Hi, Dan. Good to be back. Sarah Palin, everyone. Well, that's a nice surprise. Christine, remember what we said about giving away too many witch secrets. Secrets? Wait, what secrets? Oh, Wait, I'm sorry. I wasn't supposed to say anything. It's a secret. Um, oh, there's she, Sarah's talking to an empowered mom right now. Oh, of, of course she is. Yeah. Um, well, Christine... S Sarah's going to win. Uh... Wait, what? Sarah Palin's going to win. Is Sarah Palin planning to run for office oh, again? Oh, that, that I would be... shouldn't have said anything. Sarah, um, um, oh, oh wait, Christine, Christine, did you give away another, se she gave away another secret. I am so sorry. Oh, I, uh, I need to go talk to her. But, Christine, uh, but I, Sarah, I want to ask you about... I'm sorry, Dan, I can't tell you it's a secret. Uh, you know, people have said that the two of you look a lot alike. Is it possible that... You're both going around posing as each other so you can just cover twice as many events where you both appear? <laughs> no, no, Dan, that would be crazy. Uh-huh. So then, uh, can I talk to Sarah again? Oh, sure, she's right over here. Sarah, yes, Dan, what is it? Uh, nothing, never mind. Can I talk to Christine? Oh, so Christine, come here for a uh, second. Yes, Dan? Sarah, actually, I want to talk to Sarah. Oh, Sarah. she's right here. Hi, Dan. Christine, <laughs> Christine, I want to talk to Christine. Uh, uh, Sarah! Oh, wait, oh, oh, Christine! Oh, oh. Christine! Oh, where is she? Oh. <laughs> now, which one are you? Oh, I, I don't know. Aha! That's what I thought. Another secret. Christine O'Donnell and Sarah Palin, everyone. <laughs> they really do look alike. In space news, two Russian cosmonauts and one U.S. astronaut have arrived safely back on Earth after their departure from the International Space Station was delayed when the latches on a docking port would not unhook. A Russian flight engineer solved the problem by attaching jumper cables, which caused the latches to release. The Russians and NASA now admit they really should have traded in the space station during cash for clunkers. Last month, a new law banned or limited several types of bank fees, but now banks are simply imposing new fees to replace them. For example, the bank fee for mentioning bank fees, 
$35. Every time you say bank fees, oh shoot. GE has closed its last incandescent light bulb factory in the U.S. as this country moves towards government mandated use of the more energy efficient compact fluorescent bulbs. I might have had an amusing ending to this story were it not for the flickering, weird, dim light I was forced to work under last night as my compact fluorescent bulb and I prepared this newscast. <laughs> or maybe he just doesn't like soft white. Uh, okay. In entertainment news, NBC premiered its new sitcom, Outsourced, about a group of people who work in a call center in India. The new show, exactly. The new show comes a mere eight years after Indian call center jokes were funny. See? And finally, and finally tonight, the Drug Enforcement Administration held events in major cities earlier today where it encouraged people to turn in their unused or expired prescription drugs for proper disposal. Agents at the Los Angeles location were at first surprised by the complete lack of participation <laughs> until they discovered Lindsay Lohan outside accepting the drugs. <laughs> at least she's getting her community service hours in. That's it for this edition of the Acme News. I'm still Dan King. Jennings cuts corners when he sutures. <laughs> 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 
The nurses laughed pretty hard at that. <laughs> That's, uh, fun. <laughs> yeah, I do pranks too. Yesterday, I cut the brake lines on a prison bus. They totally fell for it. Oh. 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 No, 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 no. Cool. Did the prisoners die? That's awful. Awfully funny. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, last week I was called in to consult on a case where a man's arm had been almost completely severed. They called me because the cuts were really ragged, like they had been done with like a soup can lid. How about you, St. Brian? One time, I had to cut a man's arm off with a soup can. Oh. 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 That's cool! Oh, no, 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 not cool, not cool! Did you just mutilate people without any legal authority? How do you justify that? You know, this is not a competition. Yeah, and one time, I shot a rocket propelled grenade off at the sun because it pissed me off. <laughs> no! Awesome! Can you think it's cooler to just wreak havoc using some made up code of justice that only you know rather than helping people with some skin rashes? I, I weep for the future. Hey, you know what? You're a pretty little lady. Can I take you back to my trailer and cook you up a nice can of Dinty Moore stew with a side of Spam? <laughs> yeah. Talking or what? What do you mean? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't have gone that far. No. Uh, I just, I want to feel respected, you know? Like, yeah. is this your house or is it our house? But it's our house. Good. Like, it, it, I know you're trying to be a good husband and everything, but I just feel like I need to know that you're there for me, like we're in it together. You know what I mean? Like, to me, this is a really important issue. It's about trust and respect. I mean, you know how they always say there's no I in When you come home from work and we trust and we're a team and there's no I in team. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, well, I just, I, I feel like there's a lot of things you could do to be better. I made, I made a list. Do you want to work on our relationship? Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready to go to work. Oh, good. Okay. Okay, let me start. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a dollar with that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, you should go with me to the Jonas Brothers concert. recently, you know, and I'm, I have a lot of stuff to work out. You know, like the, uh, the Eagles lost three games in a row, and I'm really into football, you know, and it's like, I don't uh, You want to hear about the game? Hooray, football. Okay. okay, so they had the ball on the 20 yard line, right? And it was a minute and a half left, right? Oh, the fact that like, they had the ball in the red zone by the time, they were like, whoa, that's plenty of time to score.
He's a lover, not a fighter. But when he's drunk, he likes to fight. Which is pretty much all the time. He once slept with triplets. Cindy, Pamela, and Stephen. He uses condoms, then washes them out and reuses them. He is the most inappropriate man in the world. It's not always beer that's being thrown in my face, but when it is, I prefer Natty Light. It's cheap, and it goes down easy, like your mom. Pretty wasted. Yeah, it was fun though. Yeah, you know, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I, I, I don't mean to sound like an ass, but uh, what was your name again? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's it's Brad. We met last night at the bar. Brad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No oh, oh, oh. no. Morning. The Morning. fuck? Oh. oh, I thought you were, might be looking for that. Oh. My, what the hell? Oh. Thank you for last night. You were an animal. So who, who are you? I'm Greg, silly. Oh, you gotta remember Greg's name. Now you were calling his name out so much that one of our neighbors called the cops. Greg, no. Greg! The police came? Oh, good morning, guys. <laughs> oh, no! No, hell no! Oh, my God! <laughs> Jesus. Oh, what? come on, you shy now? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this one! Oh, no, seriously. Uh, Brad, do you happen to know where my handcuffs are? I don't Can know. Why don't you uh, ask Miss Handcuff myself to the radiator lady over there? <laughs> You're the one who asked her to join us. Come on. Yeah. Begging. I mean, I think I would remember if she joined. I mean, I don't know. She's pretty, uh... Hey, everybody, look what I found. You man, oh, yeah. you forgot there's more. How did you forget there was more? Hey, um, anybody see my boxers? Because I can't find them. Oh, I think uh, Lindy has them. Uh, you had them last night. Oh, that's right. Oh my god, yeah. what that's am I nice. wearing? Oh my god, you're still in costume. You were committed to that character, yeah. Yeah. so it doesn't surprise me.
for Acme Before the Makeup, where you'll get an inside look at Acme cast members before they hit the stage. First up, it's Chris Crenwelch. She's perpetually perky, but before she showed up today, she looked like this. And how about our Diana Costa? Before she hits the stage, she's not just working on her lines. And of course, the hunky Jake West. Oh, good lord, that is just, can we cut to something else? Oh boy. And that was Acme Before the Makeup. All right, I guess I was part of my, uh, my pants out literally there, but uh, welcome David and Divine once again. <laughs> Leave the light on, baby Cause I just can't see Though I know you're right here Your love keeps slipping away from me And I won't wait till morning I see the sadness on your face So leave the light on Baby, let it shine And we'll find a way There have been so many years There have been so many tears Since our happy days Remember when we were young All we had was our love it was more, 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 more than enough I know we both have changed And it don't have to be this way Cause we've kept to ourselves for so long I can't count the days So leave the light on, baby Cause I just can't see Though I know you're right here Your love keeps slipping away from me And I won't wait till morning I see the sadness on your face So leave the light on, baby Let it shine And we'll find a way We used to stay up all night You told me I loved you right our love was so, so right Promises that we made Seem to tarnish and fade With all we've left unsaid I know we both have changed And it don't have to be this way We've came to ourselves For so long I can't count the days No, so leave the light on, baby Cause I just can't see Though I know you're right here Your love keeps slipping away from me I see the sadness on your face So leave the light on, baby Let it shine Tonight, 
He believes Roman Polanski should be in jail, only because he doesn't want the competition. He once had sex with a black woman to justify using the N-word. He enjoys dogfighting, seeing eye dogfighting. He is the most inappropriate man in the world. It's not always beer that's being thrown in my face. But when it is, I prefer Natty Light. It's heavenly and goes down easy, like a priest. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us at the famous Acme Comedy Theater in Hollywood for Acme Saturday Night. Special thanks to our host, Christana Logan. And our musical guest, David and Devine. <laughs> <laughs>